ocean is a desert with its life underground and the perfect disguise above. Under the cities lies a heart made of ground, but the humans will give no love. Hello, I'm Marco Flag with Desert Star Systems, and I'll talk today a little bit about snags in a ropeless fishing system. We use a so-called bottom stored bag system. It's actually been developed by the fishers in New South Wales, Australia. It's got a number of advantages. As you'll see in the end of the video, the, the floats in here rocket right up to the surface at a speed of about four knots. And that makes it very suitable for use in high currents. You can also build these any size you want for any depth that you want and make them work with a gear on your boat. Here, for example, you see a bag that's designed specifically to strap under the winch of this lobster boat. It's also very cheap to manufacture. The materials are available at a marine supply store like these hard floats or trawl floats. The flip side of it is there are, there is snag potential. So a snag is when the mechanism itself triggers but the floats don't pop up to the surface so you want to watch out for that over the last week here working on uh, dave cassoni's uh, boat in in the harbor of sandwich in massachusetts we deployed the system 12 times and every one of these 12 times the mechanism itself worked that is the wire here burned and the lever opened but that didn't mean that the floats popped up every single time. I believe four or five times they didn't pop up. So how can that happen? Well, I want to go through a list of potential snags. Snag number one involves a heavy duty bag for snow crab fishing with three quarter inch rope, 75 fathoms and two 11 inch floats. However, the floats are packed very tight, nice in the way that rope can't go over them, but also creating the problem that they may not come out even once the bag opens up. Each float has 18 and a half pounds of flotation force, yet it seems that I probably have to pull with a little bit more than this for the float to come out. What does that mean? Of course, the float might come out with a delay. When this mesh material here bends over the top of the bag because there isn't enough rope in the bag. Actually with this bag here it can't happen because we have a rigid top frame here so this won't happen to you. But there are other bags that are used and they don't have this rigid frame at the top and you have to be very careful that you fill it fully up with rope and have the float about half out of it before you close this retainer here so that there isn't a chance of this plastic mesh just kind of folding over it and cold setting in the state after some time. With a bracket sort of like my, my hand or fingers here, and what that did is it prevented the float from coming out. So you can call this one the knuckle snag. When the release port gets stuck on a sharp piece of material, like edges of this plastic mesh here. So you wanna make sure that the cord is not going over any of these sharp uh, things on the outside here. The same thing could also happen potentially near the top. Notice the sharp edges here. The barnacle snag, so when barnacles grow on your bag and in particular when barnacles start growing around the release cord or maybe around the lever here. This can happen if you're fishing in warm waters and your soak time are extended. The loose rope in bag snag. You can see here the floats can kind of fluff around. And that would raise the potential that a rope could come that's normally laid underneath the float and it would now potentially go over the float producing a snag. So you want to make sure that your bag 
it's sized or you have enough rope in the bag to make it quite tight so that the the float kind of wants to push out and the retainer is pushing it down plastic washer on, on float getting stuck in a retainer snag so you can have these plastic washers to secure your float but the dangerous part of them is that they are also loose and so there's this gap here so now imagine a float is trying to come out but it just so happens the washer catches here on your retainer and there you can see it won't come up putting a knot in the loop in your release cord or really anywhere in your rope is a really bad idea this knot can get stuck in multiple places instead make a nice spliced loop this material this uh, rope material is polypropylene it's it's very slick to the touch and it's webbed you can just kind of push it together and then you can push the loose end into the inside coming out a couple of times and back in the incorrect routing of your release cord so the release cord should always go here at this point of the cage so that the application of force or tension is straight up that's very very important let's say you do that wrong like this and let's say you do it wrong again and you say oh I don't need both of these rings I'll just use one like this now the force is applied like so and this will never release here's a gold target for you for optimized bags such as those used in Australia in commercial use a failure to release rate of 1 to 3 percent has been achieved so aim for that if your bag fails more than 3 percent of the time it means you have to grapple more look what the snag might be as you, on each recovery and improve if you can reach a failure rate of less than 1 percent you have arrived at a truly excellent bag First thing, be sure to really inspect your bag to see if there's any snag potential, maybe snags that haven't been identified in this video yet. Second thing, be prepared that a snag may happen and when it does happen, you should have an alternate way of getting up, getting back your traps or trawls such as grappling. Third, once you recover your snag gear, have a close look as to what happened. You should, in most cases, be able to identify what caused the snag. Fourth, develop a suitable solution for it and try again. And as you go through this process, over time, your uh, ropeless fishing system will become more and more reliable and grappling or other alternative methods of recovery will become the only very occasional thing maximizing your productivity in fishing with the system. Thank you very much.